Hello, welcome, God bless. So this one is the war on women. Um, yes, I, I I do acknowledge that there is a war on men, but the war on women have been has been going on far longer. It's far more extensive, and um, from what I see, it is and it will increase the homeless population of single females. Um, which and you see it, you see it. Um, like glorified homelessness with um people who just stay in like um, excuse me, campgrounds. Um, if you go on YouTube, there's more and more single females, um, that are just living, um, a very transitory life. Um, I think that really boils down to the destruction of the family. Um, you have no husband, no family, there's no home. Why go sit in a room with four walls, man, when you can, like, <laughs> go see the nation? Um, so yeah, so the war on women, um, I really find it offensive, um, and it's just mind-boggling how all encom how encompassing it is, and how, I don't know what's more asinine, white people hating white people, <laughs> or women hating women, um, it's really ridiculous, so many women fall into one or two groups, it's either, um, to be a woman, you have to reject your femininity and be a man, or B, um, you have to put on blinders and men can do no wrong. There's no such thing as rape. If you get hit, you had it coming. Um, it's really asinine, polar bullshit um, of just absolutely no respect and no integrity. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. On our body, I think women are... We've been attacked so long physically. I know men are getting more attacked now with um, um, vaccinations really hit them. It seems to be, though they're saying there's more females, um, females just tend to be quieter so they're, they don't notice or they don't get diagnosed with autism nearly as much as boys because boys do act out. So when they are really silent, it's like, whoa, like <laughs> that's not like a typical boy. Um, but they are saying there's far more girls, but they're just not being diagnosed. Um, and soy really messes, really messes with guys. If you, if you have a man in your life, get him off the soy. Um, look it up. Um, Paul Joseph Watson, he has a couple good videos on soy boys and the soy phase. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Seriously, no soy if you have boys or men in your life. Um, period. And he can explain all that. Um, anywho... But for women, um, we've been under attack for such a long time with birth control and abortion, which is promoted as, you know, a right and a progressive advancement. I don't know how becoming murderers of our own children is progress. I'm still <laughs> at a loss on that one. Um, and I mean, I've even, oh my gosh, there's a report of one doctor who's bragging at a conference that he had aborted a baby one day prior to the due date wow that that's straight up murder why not just give the baby away you're gonna have to have a c-section anyways and there are like there's different types of abortion one is a c-section type um and when you're that oh my gosh it's just i wish more women knew the facts would would know would acknowledge the facts i have I had to talk to a woman um, last year and she actually said it's okay because even if they have a heartbeat, they don't have the brain. And it's like she didn't, she couldn't even grasp the concept that the brain operates the heart and without the brain, none of the internal organs are working. Like it's fully human. It's fully human. You're as human the day of conception as you are today, as you will be if you like turn 90. You're at different stages. You will definitely, you look different at every stage. You have different abilities at every stage, but you're fully human. And our ability overall as a gender to be able to just completely disconnect from our own flesh, our own blood, it's just mind boggling. And in fact, it's a different heartbeat. It's not your heartbeat. Your heartbeat isn't the one being stopped. Um, it's been, it's a lie. It's not freedom. And and you, when you look, what is it? The handbook on abortion or the 
abortion handbook. It's an older book, but it's fascinating because they get into research from Japan. Japan has had abortions far longer than America, and the physical and emotional damage it does to women long term, it's it's really it's not okay. And to say that it's a freedom and a right and that we're we're better off for it when science shows history shows that we are mentally and physically not better off and even if you like just do the pill that's still really pumping massive amounts of estrogen in your body it is not healthy for you that promotes men not being loyal to you that promotes you not being able to have kids especially the girls I've known who have gone on the seasonal one I mean between weight gain and then when they want to get off um and they really want to start a family, um, their body is in, has been so traumatized by the high levels of chemicals that's been, been put into them. Um, I, I've yet to hear one get pregnant. Um, so I, and just the weight gain, like they can't, no matter what they do, they totally lose control of their normal weight. Um, again, not healthy. Um, and just when you've, I don't know. The reports of different things that happen when you do go on birth control and the invasive procedure that they demand of females every year. That's not okay. I mean, if you're having an issue, go in, check it out. But if you're not having an issue, there's absolutely no reason for invasive procedures. There's absolutely no reason for invasive procedures when you're not even using the pill and you're for to stop pregnancy, but you know, for pain or for your, your, you know, skin complexion, um, as long as you're not having issues, there's no reason for that invasive procedure. It's just, it gets you so accustomed to boundary breaks. It's really just more grooming to have absolutely no boundaries. Um, it's disturbing. Anywho, let's see. The war on women, family, oh my gosh, wow. I mean, it's so under attack. And I mean, we are left hanging. We are left hanging being single, being single mothers. We are just left hanging. And we're attacked constantly. I mean, just this past week, it's like on the radio, it's just like, oh, why would you have a woman when you can have a robot? And they are sex robots. Like, seriously, they, they're they already, like, in production. They're already talking about the, like, moral ramifications and, like, ethical. Like, I mean, they're already talking about if they can give, if it's ethically okay, appropriate, to allow an Alzheimer's man in an old person's home, nursing home, to have a sex robot for therapy. Um, and then you have men cutting off their dicks or just tucking them in, pretending to be females. And their argument is like, hey, and the argument for really both is like, hey, you know, men pretending to be females and robots, they don't have periods and they can't get pregnant. So we're a lot safer for you. Come over here, boys. You stay away from those icky, bleeding girls. Um, it's really highly offensive, um, how women are attacked. And I mean, in media... It's just, for so long, it's, like, just stupid. And then it's just, um, and, like, I really am just dumbfounded at the cult mentality around Jay-Z and Beyonce. I mean, Jay-Z has the most crude, inappropriate, disrespectful, not only actions in his life, but in his music. The names he calls females, and just the music industry, how many females are just like love this music that are just calling them nasty names, only wants them naked, only wants them for sack, only wants to kick them to the curb the second they're done with them, um, only has them like maybe in a yard of clothing, if that. I mean, do you ever get sick of being degraded and now there's this whole huge movement of you know hey women are men and we can fight and we're just as, as just as violent as you guys <laughs> that's so unnatural um another lie um so yeah it's and just a lie of our identity i mean it's really 
there is a group pushing that the only way to be truly female is to be a man, is to deny everything, all femininity, to deny all feminine characteristics and strengths. Um, you'll never find out who you are and be your best if you're pretending to be a man. You just never will. Um, so that's alarming. And how many women, how many women in the pro-woman movement are just so anti-woman? They're tied to men who are just, who cheat, who disrespect their women, who are verbally and physically just inappropriate, who are, you know, um, condemned, like, by the courts, like Bill Clinton. I mean, he was, by the courts, found guilty of rape. And, I mean, then he has his best friend who, like, has, like, the island of, like, child sex slavery. And you have Hillary, like, bailing out some woman trying to, like, kidnap 33 kids in a crisis. You have the art of the Podestas. And the men who appear to be the kidnappers of that little girl. Like, why nothing has happened with that yet? I'd like to know. Me too. Is anyone ever going to be held accountable? Is the best accountability is flying over to Europe for like some sex therapy? When you're on record of forcing yourself on women again, women upon women? When we have women who are going on about men from yesteryear doing something but won't hold their best friends in Hollywood accountable. Women who actually, what is it, Meryl Streep? She's like going off about poor, what is it, Roman Polanski, who is known to have raped like a 13-year-old. Clinton, who says she defended a rapist because like what, the little girl, she said, she's on camera saying she wanted it or deserved it, wanted it. No, no. And the way females are being groomed, whether they are minors or adults, the way we are groomed to be sexually perverse. It's just mind-numbing the grooming that's taking place in the just absolute like whoosh. like no like oh my gosh it's not even like it's a non-topic because it's like what's the matter are you a prude? It's like <laughs> I'm not a prude. <gasps> But, you know, just because I don't believe women should be whores and can do more than open up their legs, um, why can't we have this discussion on why women are being gro groomed to be really, really non-ladies? Anywho, so there's a huge war on women and even the education. They've actually said that because women didn't, girls didn't excel at math and science they actually like changed how they like graded tests to like bring the boys down and elevate the girls even though the girls weren't proving themselves that's not right and I mean and I had a professor and he's like it's getting just to be busy work and it is and I've seen that um even when I was in college it was um alarming especially people in the education field um and just that intolerance still I mean, they say like, oh, we can have education. Um, you can have education if you go into certain fields. If you go into the girly fields, you're um, okay. But I mean, even when I went to grad school, I had massive amount of discrimination thrown my way solely because I didn't have a dick. Um, we're not nearly as advanced. And the fact that a lot of degrees have gone just, they've lowered their standards and it's just become di bu busy work. Well, then that's really not a real education. That's just propaganda. Oh, good little girl. You're, you're doing the good degree we want you to. We lowered the standards for you. Good little girl. Um, no, it's really not. We really have a long ways to go. Um, so it's okay to stay home with your kids while, if you have kids, and pay attention to them because careers come and go. 40 hours a week, whatever kids that's that changes everything man that kids give you memories <laughs> and really test test who you are um so yeah family we really men and women alike need to come together and take back the family and education and the genders and 
so many things. Anyway, I'm going to go. Good luck during the war. God bless you.